Hey, what's up guys? Daniel, Life with DA, and it is time for another gear review. I got a brand new package of the SK2 Mechanical Broadheads from Sick Broadheads. They just came out this past January, debuted at the ATA show. Awesome broadhead. I'm going to break it down for you, give you a really good look at it, and then I'm going to head outside and do some backyard product testing, film all that, put it all together, and show you guys just how devastating this brand new broadhead is. It's going to be awesome. Stay tuned. Check them out. Sickbroadheads.com. Here we go. All right. Let's take a closer look at these broadheads and how they work. The first broadhead you're going to see here is fully assembled, ready to be screwed onto an arrow. The first thing you're going to notice is the red flight locks or wings. This is a patented technology that SICK has come up with and they are guaranteed to open on contact. During the initial testing of this broadhead, they did a simulation test with competitors and discovered that these flight locks will break and shatter on 10 sheets of copy paper pressed together. Shot the broadhead through the copy paper, the uh, flight lock shattered, the broadhead deployed like it should, and the competitors' collars did not. Um, so that's definitely something that when I first started looking at these, I really took notice to about the minimal impact it takes to make these flight locks shatter and make the broadhead deploy. Second, you're going to see that they offer a signature offset design with a 2.1 offset entry wound. If you look at this, you can see how nasty that is. You've got a blade up top along with the regular blade of the broadhead making that an offset wound channel just making it absolutely devastating uh, whenever you come into contact with an animal. If you go to their Instagram page they've got pictures of the devastation during last deer season during the initial phase of product testing and it is absolutely gnarly. Some of the deer they killed with these broadheads absolutely just a fantastic broadhead. Last, you're going to see here all four components it takes to make the broadhead and how to replace the flight locks. It's super simple. Here you have your ferrule. It's rounded on two sides and square on the other two sides, so it's super easy to put this back together. All you're going to do is put this on the ferrule just like this. You're going to slide your blades up. Be careful because they are super sharp. Make sure you don't cut yourself. Okay. Here. Then what you're going to do is put your flight lock on, just like this, and it goes, just sits right on top there. Squeeze your blades up into the pockets of the flight lock. Screw the tip on. Again, be careful not to cut yourself because these are wicked sharp. And as soon as you feel that lock in place, those broadheads are locked in the flight lock and they are ready to be used again. So really awesome design, very simple to other mechanical broadheads I've used. So let's stop talking about it. Let's go outside and see what the devastation is with these broadheads. Here we go. All right, I got the lab set up. I made a thing of jello last night to shoot through just for kicks and giggles. My broadhead target. I got an action camera on the arrow impact here, and then I'll flip this camera around and film me shooting. All right, here we go, test number one, 30 yards. First arrow is going to be a field point. All right, here's the broadhead. 30 yards and see what she does. All right, let's go see what we got. So field point was dead accurate. I went just to the right and looks like the broadhead flew just to the right as well. And I got 
just the tip of it sticking out. So let's do it at 40 yards and see what happens. All right, here we go, 40 yards. I uh, jello all spilled out, so no jello on this shot, but we are going to take a poke at 40 and see what happens. So here we go. A little less than that desirable shot, I'm taking just a little bit. Let's see if we can make some broad head. Look. A lot better shot, uh, execute a little bit better. Let's go check out the damage. I saw some target chunks flying. at the 40 yard shot I will tell you um, just so that everybody's clear um, I have not broadhead tuned my bow at all these are the first two shots with broadheads I've ever shot out of my bow so um, truly an unbiased um, unbiased test um, I hadn't shot any other mechanicals out of this bow I just got it a week ago um, so like I said uh, shooting uh, my first shot was low, but my second shot was right there in the bullseye, um, just barely right. Um, and I was aiming for the middle of the big black dot, but I saw some chunks flying. And let's go look at the back of the target. Holy smokes. I saw some chunks fly, but I didn't know how much damage it was going to do. Forgive my shadow and shaky camera work here, but look at that. Um, I mean that is a chunk of foam out of there and this target has not been shot all that much I shot it a fair amount but I haven't had I haven't blown a chunk out like that that is ridiculous let's see if I can poke that through yep. So if you're curious about what it's gonna do to an animal, there's what it did to a Reinhardt toilet target. Um, wow. Um, dang, that's a hole. I will say I am super impressed that it took a chunk out of my target like that. Dang. Well, there you have it, a look at the all new SK2 from Sick Broadheads. I am super excited to try this broadhead this fall. Really looking forward to flinging one through a white-tailed deer here in Missouri. And um, would highly encourage you that you try them as well. I love the flight lock technology, getting to deploy. And from the shots that I had, like I had said earlier, that's the only two shots that I've shot with broadheads out of my bow. And I think the tuning is going to be minimal. Um, so, again, excited to shoot these. Encourage you to check them out on their website, sickbroadheads.com. They also have a fixed blade option for you guys that are hard and true to fixed blades. You'll want to check that broadhead out as well. Be sure to check them out on Facebook and Instagram, Sick Broadheads. They have some awesome photos of the devastation that the SK2 does to deer um, that some of their product testers did last year during last deer season. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check us out on Facebook right here, Life with DA85. And also check me out on YouTube for more product details just like this and for our webisodes. Thanks for watching. Have a great week and God bless.